Hey everyone, welcome back to On Defense Movie Reviews. My name is Adrian, and today, with a heavy heart, I'm going to be talking about the permanent closure of Arclight Cinemas. So as some of you may have heard, the Arclight Cinemas announced earlier today that they are permanently closing their doors. And that is a huge blow for the exhibition industry, the movie theater industry. Um, and if you're not familiar with the LA film industry, I mean, we have so many venues here out in LA, which uh, we have the you know the new beverly the egyptian the arrow but perhaps the most recognizable venue is the cinerama dome on sunset in hollywood run by arclight cinemas i mean they had so many great events q and a's um exhibits with uh, movie props and you know Many great directors would frequent there. Actors would frequent there. Um, and so it made it an L.A. staple for people to come and watch movies there at that location specifically. And really, that's where my story sort of comes in. I've always been in love with cinema ever since I was a kid. And I've always wanted to either somehow be involved with making films or something and when I was able to get a job, I was actually hired by Arclight Cinemas just as a regular crew member um, back in 2010. And so I started as a crew member, worked my way up into the projection booth and learned as much as I could there. Eventually became uh, the projection lead and then projection manager. And also being able to you know work my way up from there into... Uh, programming and, and forecasting and, and learning so much about the opposite side of the business, which was how films really got presented and how they were able to reach so many of the viewers out there. And it was such a fascinating and a great learning experience. And so I was able to kind of keep my love for cinema alive, but also being able to share that with so many other people, you know, presenting films in the way that the filmmakers really wanted them to be presented, presenting, making sure that the, you know, the visuals were right, the sound was right, all of those things, which brought me such a joy and such a great time. But you know what, to be honest, the best part about it really was the people, the, the people that I got to work with, the people that I got to spend hours with, you know, um, making those friends and connections that still are going today. And really, that's why I have one of the big reasons why I have such a heavy heart is because I know people that are still working there, still employed by Arclight. And, you know, and now, unfortunately, they're basically going to be out of a job. And so it, my heart hurts for them. And my heart also hurts for the community really you know and again being there it was like being part of a family being part of a community and so what that means for the la film community going forward it's hard to say i don't know i think it's it's a very popular prime real estate you know that venue i think somebody will eventually come and take over the one down on sunset but what's to happen with the others I think that remains up in the air. Um, maybe the Sherman Oaks one will continue because that's also a prime piece of real estate. Usually uh, when I was there, the Hollywood location and the Sherman Oaks location were usually in the top five in the entire country when it came to uh, ticket sales. And um, so we were always very, very busy. We were always very, very, um, you know, we were able to reach many, many people. And so what will happen outside of those two, I, I really don't know um but i hope that in some way that they are able to continue because i do believe that arc light and especially the cinerama dome and what that meant for the la film community is very important and it's, i think it's very um it's very important that it continues because like i said you know 
so many people frequented it and and there were so many great events and happenings there you know christopher nolan tarantino jj abrams and so many other like great directors would go to the arc light in hollywood they would go and and experience their movies there so i think it you know to to see it go away is is a very very sad sad thing and it's a very sad day for me you know and so i wanted to shoot the video just to give my thoughts and 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 really you know say thank you to arclight for even you know giving me a job and thank you for the many wonderful memories that i had there um as you can see i'm rocking my uh, arclight shirt here and um like i said it will always be in my heart always in my memories and you know what i wish Everyone that I ever worked with and everyone that's still there um, that are kind of going through this really rough transition, I wish you guys all the best. My heart goes out to you. I am keeping you guys all in my thoughts and in my hearts and my prayers. And really, you know what, I, I pray that this will be able to continue and go forward. Um, but anyways, guys, um, have you ever been to the Arclight, any one of them? Why don't you comment down below and let us know what you thought of Arclight, what your experience was being there, um, and any uh, memorable moments. We'd love to have that conversation going. Also, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. And follow us on Instagram, at On The Fence Movie Reviews. And since my partner Rob is not here <laughs> to close us out, I'll just say, we'll catch you on the fence.